What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, man, we have signed our first recruit during the in-season process. We have a defensive end, Danny Jackson, 6'6", 225 pounds. He's a speed rusher, straight pass rusher, runs a 4 6 Five field awareness right now is a C plus vertical leap is at a 34.5 bench press 380 squat 570 he looks like he could be an absolute dog out there so now we can allocate all of our points to the last two remaining guys free safety and wide receiver both of them will be coming during the Ohio State game and that game could be epic man Ohio State has turned things back around to the team that we all know and love or know and hate depending on who you root for but Ohio State, they could be back. But first things first, got to take care of Iowa. Iowa comes into this ball game, ranked number 13 in the nation. We are still the number one team in the land. Let's show everybody why we are. Cooper dropping back the pass. That pass will be caught by Smith, tackled by Travis Smith. And the Hawkeyes have their first first down of the ball game. Now Cooper going to roll right, throws it. It's tipped and picked. Dorch with the good hands. And we got this thing going back the other way. So good play by our defense. This crowd is rocking. So you know you got to take this crowd out the ball game. The best way to do that is to run the ball. We're going to pick up 14 right there from the 40-yard line. Give it to Parham again. Going to pick up another good game. Maybe another game of 14. And it is. And it's going to be a first down. Now Miller fires this thing. Parham spring pass. Get him the football. That's all I can say. Get this man the ball. He's going to pick up a first down in the passing game. Now Miller rolling right, throws it right to Stone, who gets brought down fairly quickly. And it's going to be second down and five. Going to run that thing. Parham breaks a couple of tackles. And he's going to be breaking a couple of hearts. Touchdown for Indiana, and we are up seven. Nada. First down and ten. Brown trying to get loose. Can't quite do it. Does pick up a gain of three. Second down and seven. They run the ball, and Brown trying to get loose. And he does so for another minimal gain. Third down and three now from the 25. They give it to the big fullback, and Butler proceeds to go nowhere. So we take over after the three and now. Miller looking downfield. Let's this one heave downfield. And it was an absolutely perfect pass, a marvelous missile, a Dawkins dive. So tackle on the PAT. We're up 14 nothing. And look at the black shirt defense all over Brown. That's what I'm talking about. The Achilles heel. A couple of years ago, it was stopping teams running game. Now, it's a strength, and I have to say, I think it's because we have a majority of upperclassmen on the D-line in the linebacking core as we find Alexander downfield. And we got ourselves a first down, man. We are looking like a well-oiled machine. We're going to get that thing to Parham. He gets upfield quickly. Good blocking by the big boys up front. We got ourselves a first down. Now we're running for our lives, and they get some pressure, and then we go in the backfield. So third down and 17 now. Miller looking. Mauler catching it. Touchdown number two for this combo, and it is now 21 to nothing. Still in the first quarter of play. They run the ball for him. Is there for the stop. So second quarter action now, third down and five. Cooper fires it, that pass will be caught by Olsen. That's just their second first down of the ball game. They give the ball to Brown, and Brown's gonna pick up a nice game in the first down. First down and 10 now for Cooper. Heaves this one deep, nothing but Hoosiers in the area. Mason gets the INT, and we got this thing going the other way from the eight yard line, gonna run the ball apart. He's able to weave through traffic. Picks up a first down and up to the 24. Now we get the ball to Chad Barnes. He has a first down in his back pocket. And he's going to pick up another gain of around, what, 11? He's going to give it to number one. He's going to pick up around six, maybe five, make it seven. Excuse me. Second down and three. Miller's going to run for his life. He saw the blitz coming off the edge. Just get up out of dodge. Now first down and ten for Miller. Going to roll right. Fire it left. Caught by Nicholson coming across the middle. Move those chains. Now it's third down to four. Miller looking for the end zone. Pour him in the end zone. He's Mr. Do-It-All. Has a rushing touchdown now, a receiving touchdown, and we're up 28 to nothing. Who saw this coming? I mean, speechless. Uh, speech, not, not, not speechless, but speechless. Like, my gosh, 28 to nada versus number 13 team in the nation on the road. Absolutely crazy. Defense still doing a thug fizzle. The black shirts are on tight. We're going to run that thing with Parham. Going to pick up a nice gain in the first down. From the 49-yard line now, Barnes going to try to turn the corner, and he does. 
and he's gonna pick up nine. So from the 39, gonna run the end around with Ross, gonna try to pitch it, the ball is loose, and we recover. So we, we, we dodge a bullet right there. So we're gonna look downfield, Miller gonna throw it to Ross, he makes the catch, cuts it back, and he's loose inside the 10, and he's in the end zone, and the Blue Birds are just raining down. 35 nothing. Brown is loose though. He crosses the 50. Dort's giving chase. Inside the 30, he's starting to separate. He's going to take it to the house. So Iowa's going to score before that half is over. But for the most part, we've been keeping that rushing attack in check. And if you keep their rush game in check, their offense is going to be in check for the most part. Now we got some foolery on the kickoff. So I've seen this before. They score late in the second quarter. And then we had some foolery to start the second half. But we're not going to let that happen. And then we fumble again. Uh, we've seen this before. First down Nintendo. Got to go for their neck. Miller looking for Nicholson. He makes the catch. And yo, safety can't run with my receiver. 10-5. Touchy. And the Blue Birds continue to be sung by the crowd. 42-7. Back up by 35 points. Cooper finds that thing's going to be caught by Olsen. He's going to get dragged down by the face mask. Personal foul. Automatic first down. From the 36, Cooper to the right side, caught by Brent. Gets brought down by Dortch. And now it's going to be second down and seven. They run the ball with Brent. Brown going to try to get loose and he gets close to the first down mark, but not quite enough. So third down and one. We send a blitz, not going to quite get there. Johnson makes the catch and he breaks the tackle and he's racing up the field. And now they're inside the Indiana 30 yard line. From the 26, they're going to go backwards. Send that blitz and Smith, Casey Smith. Gets in there for the stop. Got a lot of Smiths playing defense. That pass intercepted by Dorch yet again. Number two for him. He's running and he's going to take it to the crib, can he? 20 10 and gets dragged down before he can get to the five. So first and go from the seven now. Miller going to pitch it. Harum going to get into the end zone yet again. His third total TD today. Two on the ground, one through the air. Brown breaks a tackle, gonna get dragged down by Mason, but has a first down. Now Brown gets a carry again, and gets dragged down by the shoestring. So from the 49, they give it to Brown one more time, and they're starting to wear down our defense, it looks like. They're gonna go to play fake, and we get in there with the sack. The ball is loose, they do recover it, but that's gonna set up third down in the long 10. Cooper, fires it to the right side, it's gonna be caught by Olsen, and the drive shall continue. They're up to the 25-yard line. They get the ball to Brown. Nothing but space to operate. And he's going to take it to the house yet again. So Brown is the best player on offense. He has put up a decent game. But has it come a little too late. His second touchdown will make it 49-14. Miller gets sacked. And now we're looking at a third down and long. So far, we're perfect today on third down. Miller gets hit. The ball is loose. And Miller looks to be shaken up as the Hawkeyes recover the fumble. So this could get a little bit of a bad situation moving forward. Hopefully Miller's not out for too long. Hopefully we can hang on to this victory as Cooper gets into the end zone. So 49 to 21, down by 28. Let's go, though. Parham is loose. Going to set up his block. Crosses the 50. Crosses the 40. Cuts it back at the 30 and dragged down close to the 25-yard line. So first and 10 from the 26. Give it to Parham again. He gets spun down. Gain of five. Give it to him one more time. Look at the block by Mauler. Straight bulldogging people out there. And that's going to be a touchdown. Touchdown run number three for Darius Parham. And now we're going to get out to Cooper. Big time sack by Marvin Hill. Cooper has time. Throws it over the middle. It's going to be intercepted by Travis Smith. Travis Smith trying to get busy on the return. Weaving through traffic. And he's going to have a nice little highlight after that pick. So here we go. Fourth quarter now. Going to run the ball with Walker and Mike Walker. Don't don't fumble my football, please. Let's get out of here. Just, just, just don't do nothing crazy, okay? Mike Walker gets the carry again. He's going to break a man's ankles. And he's going to take it to the crib. So forget what I'm talking about. Do your thing, baby. Do your thing. 63-21 is the score. Dave Brown get brought down by Robert Smith. His fourth tackle of the ball game. Kennedy in the ball game. He fires it to Brown, and that pass will be a good one. Third down and three. They go up the gut with Brown. Gets brought down by a couple of Hoosiers. And he's going to have a first down up to the 44. They fake it to Smith. Kennedy looking for Brown. He was lined up in the slot, and this running back is proving why he's one of the better backs in the Big Ten. 
Kennedy finds it to the right side. Caught by Johnson. Brought down. Loss of two. From the 37. They give it to Brown again. Robert Smith going to give it to you. Excuse me. That's, that's Tony Davis. Tony Davis going to give it to you. Now Kennedy fires it. Caught by Brown. Got a foot inbounds. So now Kennedy looking towards the end zone. Caught by Olsen. They will go for the onside kick and not get it. And it was a pretty bad onside kick. You can see where, where the ball went. And went all the way back into our territory. Crazy. Anyways, man, going to run the ball with Walker. Has a first down. And it's time to milk this clock officially. Going to get the ball to Barnes. He gets wrapped up in the backfield. Second down to third. Team is going to get the ball to Walker. He's trying to find some room to operate. He's going to pick up a gain of five as Rollins is hurt. Now we're going to run the ball with Barnes. Get stopped just shy of the first down. So fourth and two. Why not go for it, right? Let's end the game. And no, the Hawkeyes are still playing tough. And we got to get the ball right back to Iowa. So 148. Kenny gives the ball to Smith up the gut. Breaks a tackle. Falls forward. The clock continues to run. So second down and four. Kenny's going to take off. Has a first down. Takes a big hit from Smith. Ten seconds on the clock. Kennedy looking to the flat. They throw it to Snyder, the backup fullback. Look at the look at the bruising run. And, and he wants to let the whole world know what he just did. Congratulations, though. It comes in the loss. 63 to 28 is the final. We came, we saw, we conquered to say the least. I was expecting a dog fight. The type of game that Illinois gave us. The type of game that Arizona gave us in the beginning of the season. Same with Texas. But this did, just did not go the, that way. And again, I always go back to composure because in my earlier dynasties, I forgot just how important composure is. And then I really, I think it was Prime U that I clicked. And I know that was like a couple of years back uh, when we went to Tennessee. And Tennessee was a good team, not a great team. And our young quarterback, this was inaccurate. But when, when we, we were at home, his accuracy was like unbelievable. And I was like, oh, it's probably his composure. And ever since then, I've always like, okay, if you struggle on the road, most likely it has to do with my play and composure. But the D-line, though, having upper class on the D-line, I think, is the main reason why I was stopping the run so much better than in years past. So composure, composure, composure. And it's always hard because I do let guys go to the draft transfer and so on and so forth but anyways man that is going to do it hope you guys enjoyed the video hope that the rest of today is the best of your day peace love hot sauce